Jaya Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com Why? It is so important to be committed to your mission. Mm -hmm. I see people sometimes starting on a, on a project and then they take one step or two steps then they just give up straight away. So, um, what I understand from missions, and I'm talking about my own personal experience and what I see in other people, it is that when you are make, taking a step in a certain direction, for instance, you want to develop a new business or you want to, to engage on a trip or create some form of charity or have some form of impact on the planet, you know, you are developing a new technology. What's going to happen is that you are going to be the center, central point for this energy. It means that suppose that, okay, for instance, um, you want to develop a new technology to um, electric motorbikes, okay, solar powered stuff for a house or for a building. So you start launching an idea, whatever this might be, it might be a, a new teaching project or something to educate kids or whatever. The point is that you've got this mission and you have been working on it for a year or two years. And what is happening at that point is that you become the focal point for energies to start working with you. It means that here is the important part. You are not doing this alone. You are being supported by your network of friends and people, family who are supporting that vision. This is on the physical level. This is on the 3D, 4D dimension. When you start looking to the spirit and to the force, my experience is that there are other forces at play that are investing themselves in you for you to become a leader of evolution in that specific field. Okay, so it's not just you, it's not an egoic choice, it's not just you going like, oh, I am doing that. No, it's an energy reality that is being activated. So take the example of this video, <laughs> you know, I'm just a little fraction of what's happening right here. You know, the codes and the force that have been guiding me over like 25 years of spiritual training and evolution, <laughs> you know, if I go like, no, I'm out, I'm just going somewhere else, I'm, I'm done with this, it's like, what? We have been building this vehicle, this container, giving you a temple, giving you the technology to be able to do this. You're not allowed to give up. You're not allowed to, to, to run away. So in my own experience, I've been tested multiple times to see if I was committed to this mission or not. And yes, I'm, I'm completely committed to it. You know, every time I'm being tested, I'm like, no, yes. Yes, I mean, I mean, I'm not giving up, no matter what, bang, 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 I keep on moving forward. This is my primary relationship, it's with my truth, with my spirit, with this mission that I'm on. Which in that, in that case, it's vital tantra, teaching, engaging into that. And so, why it's important to be committed to this mission, if you have your own mission, what is it? You know, post in the comments, what is it that, whether it, what is the mission that you are committed to? What is this mission that you identify yourself with? What is this destiny line that you're connected with? And the reason why it's very important as you keep on moving forward, especially if you have been on this mission for an extended period of time, that, um, that you are committed to it because the forces at play need to know that you're not about to just step out because you're having a bad day, okay? Because there is too much at stake. And so, reinforcing your yes internally every day, every time you wake up, you say, I am in, I'm committed to this. You reinforce that with your community, with your friends, with your people. You know, something that tends to happen in, uh, in the community or people I'm coaching, you know, friends, clients, um, it is this, one person will come with an idea one day and then another idea another day, and then a different idea another day, which I go like, okay, well, which one is it? Say, so, well, you know, and, each time is like, oh yeah, I'm fully committed to that one. This is, this is my new destiny line. Well, I can tell you the difference between those who succeed and those who don't is those who succeed have focus. They have integrity in what they are saying. It means that they, it's not just words. It's not just empty words. It's like it's a real backed up by action. And so if you are ready to, you know, God knows, start a spiritual center somewhere or launch a, a new business or start a, a, a resort, you know, like a lot of people here have, have projects like this one, you know, big things that they want to realize, you know, if you want to be backed up by a social network, you've got to be committed to this thing.
it has to be you know if you if you give me a message or you give us a message or you give a message to the invisible one month is one and the following month is something else then you know eventually we go like okay well it looks like you don't know what you're doing or it looks like you are changing direction all the time and that's not going to to get it done imagine that you uh, you have discussion with somebody who is starting a business and that person needs investments they need funds right and they come to you and they say well would you like to invest in my business you go like yeah great yeah i like your your idea and then the following month they launch another business and you go like what about the other business it feels like you're not committed to it i'm taking my funds back I'm withdrawing from the experience because it feels like you don't have the leadership capacity to sustain the effort and the focus for an extended period of time. And so the reason why I'm saying this is so that you understand the dynamics. There is nothing wrong with changing your mind. But if you want the forces to reincarnate themselves and be like, okay, yeah, we are going to support you with that experience, we are going to support you with that, it needs to be something that has a certain form of continuity, consistency in your language, in what you're saying. Consistency for for succeeding, you know, to succeed with a business, with a, a mission, with an enterprise. Wow. My cat is consistent. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Um, he's consistent. It's like his mission is to come at the end of a video systematically, and. Uh, make himself heard <laughs> it's so cute anyway you see that's part of the story it's part of life we are being real here see I've got cats in my house anyway back to the consistency you get you get the message right but the idea is this <laughs> it is that you need to stay focused on, on, in, on your thing to make it work. Um, on average, a business will take anywhere between three to five years to actually start rooting and start being successful. So if you start and after a month, two months, you go like, well, I'm not getting the results I was expecting and I give up. You're like, are you serious? No, you need to be much more consistent than that. So a good way to test if your mission is accurate for you, if it's something that is going to work for you, well, it's very simple. You test the waters. You know, you really brainstorm, you heartstorm. You go like, what is the thing that I would like to do in my life that will feel great even 10, 20, 30 years from now? And sometimes it's a mission for just a short period of time. Yeah, that works as well. But if you are looking for a long-term destiny line and trying to identify your mission, then, uh, yeah. You can test the waters and then eventually you start entering into this resonance where you identify exactly what your mission is. I can give you an example also with, um, with my brand, right? Vitalcoaching.com. I bought the domain name back in 2002. That's more than 15 years ago. Yeah, I've been doing this for 15 years. <laughs> I'm not saying this to brag, but the idea was this. When I took the brand Vital Coaching, I thought, wow, this is so vast. I could be writing books, recording videos, leading seminars. I could be teaching, teaching teenagers, teaching women, teaching men. You know, there was a, it was a vehicle that was vast enough to allow me the freedom to go in whatever direction I wanted. And so when you start, you know, when you start, if you are narrowing it too, making it too narrow, then it sometimes it's not going to last. So I would say give yourself the, the, the freedom and the space to be able to evolve and navigate within that space without feeling restrictive. If you take a mission which is too specific, you know, I'm going to write a book on that topic, this is the title, no, 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 no. And, you know, sometimes the brand or what you're focusing on is too, too narrow. So be aware of that as well. Okay. Jaya 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 Jaya. I hope life is beautiful for you. Send you lots of really good vibes, good waves, your way. I'll see you soon. I love you.